Hey guys, this is LJ from Arena Ponage. In this video lesson, I'm going to be showing you some Mage Warrior Paladin in 3v3. This is a match against a Warrior Lock Paladin. Again, we're playing Warrior Mage Paladin. In this match, we actually end up losing, just so you guys, just for a heads up. Just start off the match, you're basically just dispelling, trying to keep range on the Warlock. The comp that they're running is a pretty hard counter to us, and you may recognize the players, Belligerents and uh, Ray Charles from Skillcapped. We had a lot of games against them. This is like the longest game we played against them. So just to get to show you some gameplay, I think we went even. We went like three and three against them. They were very good players, all of them. You can see right now we're just LOSing. They switched to me, so I already had freedom on myself, so I got lucky. And basically just pillaring the whole time. Our mage is peeling, and we're basically just swapping targets. You can see the warrior just charge stunning me here. Right there I blew wings just to relieve some of the pressure. I, I have my warlocks I have the warlock on their team set to my focus, so anytime he's fearing, I can just instantly target whoever he's targeting to fear and instantly dispel them. In this mat in this case it'll be my mage most of the time. You can see right here I got feared off to a very bad position. I'm like caught in the middle of nowhere. Instantly they try to switch to me, they get full roll dots on me. Right away I devone, I blow Divine Plea, and I blow my Sprint, my Holy Radiance to try to get away. I didn't have freedom, otherwise I would have used it right there, but it was on cooldown. You can see just trying to pillar. Right there I'm trying to fake cast, but he doesn't pummel me. And I basically just keep moving along. <clears throat> and here he's blade storming, still just trying to top myself off basically, using Holy Shock and just... Right here I can get behind the pillar away from them so I get a chance to get a divine light off and top myself off. Right here we're making a hard swap to belligerents while they were doing that to me. And we're just trying to force force them to blow cooldowns. Right there I bopped him so that we can stay offensive on the paladin. And he's forced a bubble. Again I get feared out into the middle of the map. Right here again they switch to me. So this time I have freedom now for myself. And I can sprint away. You can see how low my health bar is, but you know I'm still trying to save onto my bubble as long as possible just to keep that advantage that we have. You can see right here we're trying to get a kill on belligerents. You know he got low, but they did a good job peeling. They switched off me right away and went for it. Went for a kill. Pretty much as soon as they would go on me, we would try to just make a swap to their paladin. Again, just trying to always play near the pillar. And if you get feared away from the pillar, just instantly try to get back to it. Right there, I bubbled out of that. Bubbled out of that fear. A little sacrifice there, too, to keep him up as well. Now I'm coming out of my bubble, so I feared the pet, too, so I don't want him to silence me when, when it comes off cooldown. <clears throat> Still just moving pillars on this side. That's one thing you're not going to want to do. You're not going to want to stand on the lock portal like I was right there. That could, That's really bad. If his port's up, he could just port right there and fear me instantly. Right here, our warrior starts pulling back. Anytime he got low, he would instantly come back. He would intervene and start pillaring with me every single time. You can see right here, we're in a lot of trouble. Vexius is taking a lot of damage. Vexius is our warrior. They blew Death Coil on me into a fear. You can see just how far away I get feared over here. Now look at how low he is. This is this is where our mistake happened. So we, we, we're, to, we're trying to top each other off. We're having a little problems with LOS and each other. And he's not fully topped off, but he has to go in and try to help Legolas, our mage, which kind of which kind of messed us up because he he wasn't topped off obviously. And right there, I come out and get counterspelled, and now they're switching to Legolas, and Legolas is getting low too. So right now we're just way behind in pressure. You know, to the start of the match we were actually doing very well. We had more pressure on them. They had bubbled. We hadn't, but now we're blowing more cooldowns than they have to. Right here, I had to come out into the middle, and the lock was gonna fear me, so I, I blew a hosh into him. Right here I got feared, as you can see. You can see the Paladin came over Holy Radiance over so he can get to me without getting CC'd and just hodged me for more CC. You can see we're still having problems with LOSing. Now this is, this is, we didn't have this much trouble usually, but right there I'm on top of the Warrior so I fake casted so that he wasted a pummel. Basically if you're next to the Warrior and you're like trying to heal your partner, you know, most likely he's going to try to interrupt you. So right here they just swapped to me on blue freedom on myself and DP pretty much right away.
right here I'm just using all all my pillaring to my advantage that's a re our reign of frost so basically if I just stand on top of it you know it's a free peel because if anyone runs on top of it then they get trapped you can see we're doing about the same on mana which is kind of a problem and you can just see how much damage he can actually take from the warlock dots and it's a lot more pressure than we can put out but that's just the nature of their comp our comp is more about switching targets and bursting but they're 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 more about wearing you down and just basically doing damage over time. You can see right there, just faking the pummel again, just pillaring as much as possible. You can live with pretty much no health. Right there, I tried to holy radiance to the other side, but I got hodged, and so I decide against it. Right here, I'm low, Legolas is low, and they get a good fear on me, and that's it. And the game ends. This match is against a DK. Shadow Priest Resto Shaman. On this map, usually uh, I always like to stay far away from, from their team. Basically, I'll stay on this pillar and I'll have my team stand in the middle. And so that way, if they want to CC me, they have to go all the way across my team, all the way across the bridge, just to get to me. Now you can move up if your team moves up like, like mine did right here. I'll try to stay in the middle of the bridge rather than near my ramp, the starting ramp. Right as soon as I gri gripped in, I just feared the the gargoyle and just ran right back to the pillar. Basically, against Shadow Priest and DK DK teams in general, especially with the uh, with the necrotic strike that they have, you want to just like overheal the crap out of them, overheal the crap out of the target that the DK is on, just because you don't want to run into issues. Like if you have to heal them at seventy percent and you have to heal through necrotic strike, you'll have to heal like three times. Like a holy shock, and then like a word of glory, and then probably like another holy shock to get through it. It'll absorb like 30k at max. At max, uh, de debuffs. So basically, just always topping off my target is what I'm doing. Always rebuffing. Always trying to stay way far from the pillar. You can see right here they're moving up. Right away, once they swap to me, I, I switch DP to myself. It's only a one minute cooldown, so again, just constantly using that anytime they swap to you. That's like the first thing I do. Right here, I just jump down, freedom myself. Get a divine light off since they they can't follow me when I jump down, so I just use that to my advantage. Just holy guardians, oh holy guardians, right back up. Holy radiance, I'm sorry. Right there, Haza shaman because we can get some burst off. I plan to silence them right out of it. Silence them right there, and we're still doing a lot of pressure to the priest right now, but not enough. I also bopped them just so we can get some more damage off. We wouldn't have to worry about Nost done. And like right here, you see I'm just swapping uh, swapping bridges because, you know, they're all on top of me over there, so I just go to this side. Right here I get a good chance to Divine Plea, so I just go ahead and use that. Again, still I'm just mainly keeping my Warrior free at a CC and just topping the DK's target off as much as possible. Overhealing. Anytime you have a day, day uh, daybreak proc, which will give you the holy shock twice, just make sure you're using it right away so you don't waste the proc. Holy shock's a very efficient heal. It doesn't heal for much, but it costs like no mana. So right here, you can see narcotic strike how much it actually absorbed, and you can just see how low ice fog. I mean, uh, ice lance gets. Who, who's our mage? Right there at or mastery because like I got gripped in, I could not run. I didn't have freedom up, and I just could not get away. So I or mastery on top of all of them just so that I could get the heal off. Right here they're switching to me, but we're still doing a lot of damage to the priest and we get a full sheep on the on the shaman. I just jump off the side with freedom, holy radiance away, and we can kill the priest right there.